Are you ready for a tale of incompetence the likes of which you didn't think was possible? Of course you are, why else did you click on the video? If you've watched my videos before, you may have noticed in the description there's a couple of links. One of which is a link to Instagram, and if you'd click on that link, it would take you to my Instagram page. Except now if you click on it, it takes you to, uh, sorry, this page is no longer available. That's because my Facebook account has been disabled. My Facebook account and my Instagram account were linked, and now because my Facebook's been disabled, my Instagram's been disabled. Now, why has my Facebook account been disabled? That's a good question. This is the saga that I've been faced with for the past four days. Four days ago, sat there, minding my own business, playing with my daughter, and my phone pings. And it's a notification from my Facebook app, as well as an email from Facebook informing me that my account's been disabled. Sure enough, I tried to go onto the Facebook app, and it says, no, your, your account's been disabled. Right, okay, so I check the email, and it says, there's been some posts made on your account that don't meet our community standards, so your account has been disabled accordingly. If you disagree with this decision, click the link down below and, you know, file that, uh, that you don't agree with it. Otherwise, we'll delete your account in 30 days. So, of course, I'm going to dispute it. I have no idea what I've done. So I'll go to dispute it, and it says that my account's been logged out, so I need to log back in. Except in, to log back in, I need to verify my phone number. And this is where I hit the first farce of this whole situation. I put my uh, phone number in and I click send. And then below that, on the, on the website, there is then a red pop-up box that says they were unable to send the SMS message. Except my phone pings up with the six-digit security code from Facebook. So Facebook sent me the security code that they've asked for, but their system's not recognized that they've sent me the code that have been asked that they've asked for. So they're not then forwarding the page on to the next page that has the box that you type the code back into. Great. So I'll try it again. Put me code, put me phone number in, try and send another one. Same thing happens again. Tried it on a different web browser. Same thing happens again. Every single time the website's telling me that it can't send me the SMS security code every single time I receive a security code. In the end, it happens so many times that it pops up and says, you've had too many attempts of getting an SMS, try back in 24 hours. So next I thought I'll try the help center. Maybe there's a another way that they can verify that I'm me. You know, maybe it doesn't need a phone number. How about an email? Their help center's got pretty much every eventuality covered, apart from the one that I'm actually facing, where their system's not realizing that it sent me the code that it's actually sent me, so then isn't then letting me put in the code that they've sent me because they don't think they've sent it to me. And there's no other way of verifying that you're you. Apparently it's phone numbers or no dice with Facebook. So this is about just gone one o'clock on the 12th of September. At 10 p.m. the next night, so 32 hours later, I try again. And it's still telling me I have to wait 24 hours. So in the end, I tried another mobile number from someone else in my household, and that one registered that it had gone through. So I put the security code in for that, and it got me onto the next bit of disputing the, the fact that my account's been disabled. Except the only dispute that you can actually open is to send them a, a, a picture of your ID to verify that you're you. Excellent. You know, no facility to add a defense or anything here or give any further information. Just give us your ID and we'll look into it. Okay. So on this is on the Facebook app. It just gives you a little box to, to scan with off the phone camera. Scan me driver's license. And was sometime the next night that I got a re email response from them. And I'll just read you the response because it's fucking brilliant. Hi, David. Well, we've determined that you're ineligible to use Facebook. To learn more about Facebook's policies, please review the Facebook Statement of Rights and Responsibilities. Unfortunately, for safety and security reasons, we can't provide additional information as to why your account was disabled. We appreciate your understanding as this decision is final. 
<laughs> what a pre what understanding. You've given me absolutely nothing other than we've blocked your account. We're not going to tell you why, but hey, tough shit. When I then try and log back into the account, though, I could then have the option of downloading all of my information that I've gathered over Facebook. So, you know, all of the, the posts and the pictures and everything. And just 10 years worth of shit going on here. So obviously I've downloaded it all. It's not all the original files, it's not all high resolution, but I thought, you know, there's a lot of stuff from posted from God knows years ago that the only record of it is Facebook. So I thought, in case I can't get this rectified, I'm potentially standing to lose a hell of a lot of, of old memories here, so I'll just download everything that I can. And then within all of the files and everything that the that you download, it's not just your posts and your pictures, it's all of your other account activity in the background as well. So it's all of your friends that you've got, all of the friend requests that you've sent or received, and it's got traces of account activities of logins and stuff. So I thought, I'll have a look through this and I'm just going to see. And then about an hour before I was my account was blocked, there was a login registered from an IP in Spain. And then about 20 minutes after that, there was another login from San Jose, California. Now, take note of that timestamp of when the San Jose IP logged in. I then went and looked at all of the, the pages for friends that I've got accepted or requests that I've sent. There were two names to new friends that were added. Now look at the timestamps of when those requests, uh, those friends had been added to my account. One second apart, all of about 20 seconds after the San Jose IP logged into my account. And then if I go onto the page for logging out, so anyone that's managed to log into my account, then logging out, it keeps a track of all of that. And sure enough, the San Jose IP logged out about four minutes after it had logged in. So that wasn't that someone's attempted uh, to log into my account. That is someone has actually managed to do it, logged in, done whatever, and then logged out. Which is frankly a hell of an indictment on Facebook's security, considering I've got two-factor authentication enabled on my account. For me myself to sign into Facebook on a new machine or a new browser that it doesn't recognize, I need to have another form of, of authentication to, to clarify that it's me. I need to agree to, you know, click on an email or put in a security code or something. Somebody on the other side of the world has managed to get around all of that. So great job on the security Facebook. Now, I don't know whether this person was actually, whoever hacked my account, whether they were in the same city as where Facebook's head office is or whether they were running through, you know, VPNs or whatever. I don't frankly care, but all of this becomes blindingly obvious. Someone has accessed my account and four minutes later they've logged out and in the middle of that, they've put two new friends into my account. Now, you don't just hack into someone's account and put friends in for shits and giggles, do you? Clearly, they've done something else there, probably involving a few posts. Posts which have breached Facebook's terms and conditions, and so they've, they've blocked the account. Okay. That bit is frustrating, but understandable, okay? I'm not going to have a go at Facebook for that. I mean, I'm going to question how in God's name someone managed to get through their security to get into my account without needing the two-factor authentication that I myself need. But I'm not going to begrudge Facebook for blocking an account that is clearly posting something that it shouldn't, okay? But the simple fact remains is... It, it clearly wasn't me that did it. And there is all the evidence within Facebook's own systems that show that that is the case. But then somebody has clearly received my request to dispute the claim in the first place, has looked at the ID and looked no further. They haven't looked into the account activities or anything to see, you know, is there something else going on here? Has anyone else accessed the account? No, it's just, okay, well... You know, this account belongs to Dave McKeegan. Here is Dave McKeegan's uh, ID and his posts, whatever he made, uh, don't fit the guidelines. Uh, so bye-bye. That's it. 
Now, this is where it starts to turn into the brilliant farce for Facebook. Because if I now log back into my account, I get a pop-up box that says, your account has been disabled. If you don't agree with this decision, then you can contact us through our help center. So I click the link through the help center and it takes me to a page where, it, again, it says, you know, it, loads of text that I can't even recite half of it. But down at the bottom, not only does it say upload an ID, but also gives me finally a box for additional information that I can add additional information to say, listen, I don't agree with this. This is why I don't agree with it. OK, great. Click send. Now I get a pop up that says they're not reviewing these decisions because of staff shortages for, but caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. This is the COVID-19 pandemic that's not been a pandemic for over six months. And now because of that, they're, they're not reviewing these decisions. They're not bothering to look into any of these account decisions to see are they actually correct or not. It's just, no, someone's looked at the picture of your driver's license and decided that, yes, the posts we don't agree with, but we're not going to actually bother to look into why. Freaking great. Right, time to hit up Google. What am I meant to do if my Facebook account has been hacked? Gets linked back to Facebook's help center. What should I do if my Facebook account has been hacked? You should contact us by logging into your account. I've got to log into the account that's been hacked. The hacked account that's subsequently been disabled because it's been hacked. The one that I can't log into because you've disabled it, because it was hacked. I've got to log into that in the first place that I can't do to get into a help center to speak to you guys about how to get around a hacked account. Okay, so I'm more likely to get sent out to my two-year-old daughter on how to resolve this problem than I am from Facebook's help center. Time to go old school. Usually, whenever I run into problems like this, where a help center doesn't actually help you at all, you go old school. Your phone. You speak to someone on a phone in a customer service center, or you drop someone an email, or you speak through live chat to be able to explain to them and say, look, this is clearly what has gone on. Is there anything you can do to help? Because your automated systems are a waste of fucking time. Can you get in touch with Facebook? Ha! <laughs> can you fight? Apparently, there is a phone number for Facebook's head office. However, if you try and get through to any customer service representatives to speak to anybody, you just get automated messages that send you back to the help center for the Facebook website. Great. There is no live chat. This is one of the largest networking platforms on the planet that seemingly you can't network with. They have no facility for you to speak to them in real time. Email. Okay, I'll settle for an email. Is there an email for someone somewhere within Facebook that I can just send an email to and explain the situation, even if I've got to wait a couple of days? Nothing of Facebook, nothing that Facebook will openly claim to. I found an article that happened to mention an email for people who whose accounts have been disabled. It was something, you know, disabled at fb.com. It can't be disabled. At Jesus, that, that would have been a bad email. But anyway, it was something along those lines, you know, a, a, just a generic inbox for, you know, if your account's been disabled, drop an email here. Great, I'll send them an email and explain the situation and all of this will be rectified in a few days. Send. Automated response. The receiver's inbox has rejected your email. <laughs> You genuinely couldn't write this. So I'm now in a predicament that I can't get in touch with Facebook directly. The only s remote suggestion of being able to get in touch with them is through my Facebook account, but I can't access my Facebook account because they've disabled it. And the only facility that they've offered to have any hope of reviewing this account being disabled, they've now removed that because of a pandemic that's no longer a pandemic because they're short-staffed, but we all know that they're not actually short-staffed. They just can't be asked. Right. 
Last chance here, I'll make a new Facebook account and then I will try and contact them through the help center on the new account to explain about the old account. Oh wait, now it turns out I can't make a new account because if I use any of the emails that I have, they, re they recognize that they're registered to me and it prompts me saying that the person who's registered to this account has been blocked. Great! So I am now completely blacklisted from Facebook and seemingly from Instagram because someone's managed to get through Facebook's security and hack my account so Facebook have blocked it. How does a company grow to that scale of success with that scale of ineptitude about them? Like, it, it does not take a rocket scientist to work out the flaws in, in all of this here. Okay, you only have to master thinking and breathing at the same time to be able to spot the issues of a social networking platform that you can't get in touch with. A platform that disables accounts and then rejects the reviews based on no information other than your driver's license or a picture of an ID and, or well, we've reviewed what has already been flagged up and we can't be asked doing anything else. They then only then afterwards give you the facility of adding additional information of which the only information is shit that, I've, that they already have access to but have clearly not bothered looking at, but they're not prepared to look at that new information because of a pandemic that's gone. And now because of that, I am now completely blacklisted from both Facebook and Instagram. Frickin' way. As you might have guessed, a little bit pissed about all this. Okay, I know, it's a first world problem, okay? There are much bigger issues on the planet these days than, oh, I can't access my account, okay? But it is still mightily frustrating that I've been banned from from a platform that I've I've been on for 10 years. You know, yes, I've been able to recover a lot of the information, but I've not got it all back. You know, there's a lot of family members and friends who I've I've been friends with on Facebook who've since passed away. That even if I find a way of getting back onto Facebook now, I can't I can't view their profiles anymore to see any of those pictures with them because, you know, they, they can't, they can't, obviously can't accept me and they're all private profiles. So I can't view anything of it now that I'm, you know, that I'm no longer a friend of them. Just all those things like that. Everything that I posted over the years that I tagged people in, all of that's now gone. So they can't see any of it as well. And all of this because of, because I've been banned for something that I didn't even do. Because someone else somewhere has hacked into my account for whatever reason and has managed to break through security that is clearly lackluster because it supposed, it's supposed to need authentication from me. I need authentication from me to get into my own account and yet someone's managed to get in without any authentication from me. So all of this has come around from Facebook's own incompetent security and someone hacking it, and then Facebook's complete disarray of customer service means I now can't fix the problem. And with that, there is not much more to say on the matter other than Zuckerberg, if you ever watch this, my God, sort your shit out.